Court effects in the Archon boss fight can be kind of hard to beat if you don't know what you're doing. First of all, don't go in there with a shotgun, don't go in there with one of the pistols. You're actually going to need some decent weapons to take him out. And there is one secret weapon inside of this boss fight that is going to far and away help you beat this in no time. I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video. First and foremost, I would recommend going in with some decent diabolical damage. The higher level of diabolical damage you have, the better you're going to be doing against court effects. Of course, I would recommend also having a self revive because there's a good chance that you go down during this just from the stupid ball things floating around and all the zombies. So far, I've found that the best weapons to go in with are LMGs because they have a high mag count and you're able to do quite a bit of damage with these things. Of course, the longer that you can shoot and hit the spot on court effects you need to in the eyes, you're going to be doing a heck of a lot better. I've gone in there with some SMGs. I've gone in there with pistols. I've gone in there with shotguns. And the LMGs just time and time again are just so much better than everything else. Also, don't go in there with the EM1. Man, I tried that. It is dog poo poo. One thing you don't need to worry about is going in there with any kind of like monkey or decoy because you're going to need to be picking up these corrupted crystal parts and realistically you're only going to be able to use the monkeys or the decoys early on because you're going to need to have those in your tactical slot the corrupted crystals that is and you're not really going to be able to use anything else in that area molotovs are always good dealing with the zombies around you uh definitely going with ring of fire in my opinion if you go in with ring of fire and use it on court effects you're going to be doing a decent amount of damage against him it's still going to take you a lot of shots to take him out when when treyarch said that they did a lot for this boss fight they just meant that it takes a lot of shots to kill him that's really all they did one thing i haven't tried against him is sniper rifles i think it'd be interesting to see but i just don't think the fire rate's going to work for him you could also go in with a death machine the death machine did pretty all right when i used it but the amount of salvage that you need to buy a death machine as you get to the next phase and how much damage it does it might not be worth it it's a good thing to have in your back pocket just in case but honestly you're gonna run out of ammo before you could do too much damage to him if you do get scrapper and get a bunch of salvage before that then be my guest and take in as many death machines as you can otherwise i would recommend just sticking with an lmg but that is not the secret weapon inside of this boss fight i have to give a huge shout out to the homie dank funeral who showed me this on my comment section on youtube and this is actually super super broken dank funeral said i found out during my first and only run i deleted vanguard after this it's finally over can't say i blame you bro you can block those big red balls with the shield and they instantly disappear and i went in and tested this and dank funeral is absolutely right if you have the shield out when he he throws the red ball at you it'll just go away the decimator actually protects you from it and that's not like a glitch or anything that's actually a feature because he says that he is going to protect you from anything trying to hurt you and those big red balls are the most annoying thing especially during the first phase because they are just in your way the whole freaking time also the decimator whenever court effect spawns in zombies is really really good at just taking out the whole horde quickly so you can get back to fighting the archon one of the worst wonder weapons in call of duty history is now one of the best specifically for this boss fight have you beaten the archon yet if you haven't go ahead and check out this video on the screen now of what not to do i hope you guys have a great yesterday and i'll see you soon